Tonight, it's the night. Look on up. It's the Geminid meteor shower. And guess what? We get to see it. It's probably one of the strongest meteor showers of the year. But I wanted to turn to the professional astrophysicist Mike Zevin with Adler Planetarium. Hey, thank you for being with me this yeah. morning. Thanks for having me on. So why is this such a great show tonight? Well, the Geminids are one of the most reliable meteor showers of the year, and tonight's a particularly great night because we just had a new moon, which means the skies are going to be darker than normal, making it easier to see the meteors as well. So when you say, you know, first of all, what's the best angle to look? Where do we look in the sky? Yeah, so you'll generally want to look in the east or southeastern sky. They're called the Geminids because they radiate away from the constellation Gemini. Uh, but really, the best thing you want to do is get far away from city lights. Find an open area and kind of look up at the whole sky just so you can see these streaks of light, these shooting stars across the sky as they come from. Do you need to get your eyes kind of adjusted to the dark though? And, and if so, for how long? Yeah, so generally about 20 to 30 minutes, your eyes will be uh, properly adjusted to the dark and be able to see the meteors the best. What time do you think is it the optimal viewing? Yeah, so the optimal viewing is more around midnight, 2 a.m., when the most meteors are going to be happening in perfectly clear, dark skies. You might be able to see more than 100 per hour. Uh, but we're really going to be seeing meteor activity throughout the entire night. So if you don't want to stay up too late, even 9 p.m. is a great time to go out somewhere and take a look for these meteors. Do you need any special viewing? This isn't like a solar eclipse or anything like that. You don't need any special viewing tools, correct? No, and in fact, you probably don't want to use anything like binoculars or telescopes anyway, because wow. you want to be looking at the whole sky and your eyes are perfectly fine for doing that to catch these blips of light across the sky. So there are a lot of folks in the city that want to see it. Do they have any chance if you live in the city? There's a chance. Uh, the city lights are obviously a hindrance to yeah. seeing these cool astronomical objects you might be able to see one or two an hour but you'd have to be pretty patient to look for them probably the best bet if you're in the city is to go towards the lake um, because it's darker over the lake when you're not looking at the city lights uh, but it's a cold night tonight it's a brisk night tonight, as you know so <laughs> even though we have clear skies you just want to make sure to bundle up so what's going on at the Adler Planetarium for this is there a lot of excitement about it uh, there's always excitement for cool astronomical events uh, for the Adler actually every Wednesday night, including tonight, we're open from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. for Adler at night. And it's actually a free night for Illinois residents. So <gasps> in addition to seeing all the cool sky shows and exhibits that are at the Adler, we also have our Doan Observatory open on clear nights where you can see some other awesome astronomical objects, things like Jupiter and Saturn and nearby deep space objects. Oh my gosh. Mike, thank you so much for coming in. I mean, you know, we gave you a call last minute, but thanks for being our go to. Really appreciate you yeah, being here. Of course. Thank you for having me and keep looking up. Yep. Keep your eyes on the skies. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.